Moving on to the 17th question. Avnit buys 9 square paving slabs each with a side of half meter. He lays them in the form of a square and given to find the following bits. Let's do the solution. Given that total number of squares that is square slabs Avnit bought is equal to 9 and length of side of each square slab is equal to half meter. Now consider the first bit that is we have to find the perimeter of his arrangement in figure 1. We know that perimeter is the distance covered along the boundary forming a closed figure when you go around the figure once. In order to find the perimeter of this arrangement, first count number of sides of slabs used in the boundary of the square. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Here, Avnit has used 12 sides of square slab in building this square. Therefore, perimeter of figure 1 is equal to 12 times side of each square slab. This is equal to 12 multiplied by side of each square slab is half meter. This is equal to 2 goes in 12 by 6 times and we will get the perimeter of the square in figure 1 as 6 meters. Therefore, perimeter of square in figure 1 is equal to 6 meters. Now take down the second bit. Given that Shari does not like his arrangement, she gets him to lay them out like a cross and given to find the perimeter of her arrangement in figure 2. We know that perimeter is the distance covered along the boundary when you go around the figure once. So in order to find the perimeter of this arrangement, we have to know the number of sides of square slabs used in constructing the cross arrangement. So let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So, perimeter of the cross arrangement is nothing but 20 multiplied by side of each square slab. This is equal to 20 multiplied by side of each square slab is half meter. This is equal to 2 goes in 20 by 10 times and we will get the perimeter as 10 meters. Therefore, perimeter of the arrangement in figure 2 is equal to 10 meters. Take down the C bit they have given to find which of the figures 1 and 2 have the greater perimeter. In the A bit, we have found the perimeter of the figure 1 as 6 meters. So, perimeter of figure 1 is equal to 6 meters and in the B bit, 
we have found the perimeter of figure 2 as 10 meters. This implies perimeter of figure 2 is equal to 10 meters. We know that perimeter of figure 1 is less than figure, figure 2 since 6 is less than 10. Therefore, arrangement shown in figure 2 has greater perimeter. Take down the debit. In this, they have given that Abneet wonders if there is a way of getting an even greater perimeter and they have asked whether we have a way of doing this. The paving slabs must meet along one complete edges that is they cannot be broken. First, let us arrange the given slabs side by side that is we will get the arrangement as shown after arranging the slabs side by side. We have to find the perimeter of this arrangement. First, we should know the number of sides of slabs used in the boundary of this arrangement. So, let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. This employs perimeter of this arrangement is nothing but number of sides of slabs used multiplied by length of each side of the square slab. Therefore, perimeter is equal to number of sides of square slabs used are 20 multiplied by length of side of each square slab is half meter. This is equal to 2 goes in 20 by 10 times and we will get the perimeter of the above arrangement as 10 meters. Therefore, we can conclude that there will be no other way of getting an even greater perimeter than 10 meters.